it's it's very hard to get the camera to focus on the chicken's face, not my face. All right, I just got home. It's 18 degrees. The roads are dry. I think it's finally time. Oh my goodness, look at that. Do you even know? Do you even know how sick it is to drive this thing? Okay, let's go, let's get inside. So this is the first time in 2022 that I will have driven this 1977 Stepside F100. We've done a ton of work to it. There's a new steering wheel on this. Uh, we just redid the truck bed. There's a new radiator, fixed some leaks. I haven't taken it out since any of that was done. So this will be its maiden voyage of the year. Uh, I'm very, very excited. I'm just very like, let's just go, let's do this. All right, first start, here we go. Gotta let that buzz go. Look at that indicator. How sick is that? Oh, first try. Yes. Oh, that sounds so good. Oh, it smells so good too. Oh, we are back. We are back. and all the smiles right now. It is so good to be back. Let's scout this out first. That's responsible. Yeah, I mean, these are ATV trails, but I've got off-road tires. Well, it's got KO2s. I mean, come on. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine, I can do whatever. whatever. This is a special spot right here. Okay. All right, friends, bonus points if you recognize that fence. So this is a little spot I like to call where I broke my fingers. Yeah, I like to come back here and reminisce of the pain and torment my bones went through, my mental state went through. Honestly, I love this fence. This makes me laugh every time I pass it. Now it makes me laugh. Didn't make me laugh before, not, a, not even a little. Now it's funny, before, not funny. I came ripping through these woods, ripped around the corner, started tipping right here, and look at that. There is nothing to cause a side-by-side, -side, a Can-Am X3 Maverick to flip right here. I was going like 25 kilometers an hour, not even fast, went up on its side, and then bam, crashed. That's no good. I later found out the machine was PDI'd incorrectly and the suspension was too high in the front and the back, making it too top heavy, so it would have tipped at some point. Sick. All right, I've never given anyone a proper tour under the hood of this thing. So I figured you might, you might want to see what's going on. Underneath Walt. Here it is. So that is a 302 5 liter V8 stroked to 348, I believe is the displacement. Howard told me that, um, I'll be honest. The first time he told me all those things, I was like, okay, yeah, stro stroked to, yeah, yeah, that's, I'm, thank you for, for doing that, thank you. But I will say one of the things that's been actually awesome about owning this truck and replacing so much of what's inside it is I've learned a ton about vehicles and trucks and it's just almost like birthed a new interest for things, which you're gonna see probably a lot of on this channel. All right, we did a new battery because the old one was complete scum. The leads looked like they had been salvaged from the Titanic, so peace. Uh, just put a new radiator in, new hosing, new spark plug cables, obviously like a whole little kit caps for the valves, filter. Ooh, fun, fun little one down here. I don't know if you can see it way down there. That's a charcoal canister. 
So that vents the fuel lines so that it doesn't smell terrible in my garage. They go into that charcoal canister and it kills everything. We painted the whole engine bay, fuel injected it. So you got a Holly Sniper, I believe it is underneath there. So no longer carbureted, which is awesome. Uh, new brakes in the front, drum brakes in the back, new exhausts, recarpeted the interior. I mean, man, there's, I'm missing a whole bunch, I know, but new torque converters, new tires, new rims, new steering wheel, Bluetooth, subwoofer, gaskets. I mean, we did a lot, we did a lot. And when I say we, I did nothing. Howard did a lot. Howard from Overdrive did all of the things to Walt. So this truck already kind of held a special certain sentimental value. Uh, now it's, it's even more so because I just think of Howard every time I open the hood and see how perfect it is. So Howard, thanks buddy. But it's not like a new truck. Everything back in the day, you really had to I'm pretty sure originally in this truck was a Windsor engine, Windsor block. So it's been redone. Someone did some work to this before I got around. Like that back window is not original. That was done, but we just finished the truck bed and look how good that looks. All the wood came out, stained, you're, uh, the whole thing. I just did a short on it, but mm, damn, it looks good. Oh yeah. It looks so good on this farm too. It's so, so fitting. Should I go park it in the middle of this field for a sick little photo right there? Put Walt right there. That was rhetorical, I'm doing it. <laughs> holding a chicken. It's, it's very hard to get the camera to focus on the chicken's face, not my face. This is very soft. Very soft. Look at this. Step side, beautiful weather. Chickens, eggs, farm, taking pics. Life is good.